Are you confused about the new COVID-19 guidelines? Well, listen, you are not alone. The information is constantly changing, which leaves many of us feeling anxious and frustrated. For some clarity, I recently caught up with Dr. Sujatha Reddy to get the facts. Here's what she had to say. What we have right now is science that looks at the decay of the virus. If you are asymptomatic and you are infected, we want to get people back to the jobs. How much transmission is happening during that period after you've been infected? The tests are still worthwhile. That's really when we want to have you stay home during those first five days. But don't let anybody think that the FDA was saying the tests are no longer good. They say they're less sensitive now. Dr. Reddy, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we wanted to bring you in because in the final days of December, uh, the CDC made an announcement that had some people confused, others, uh, you know, surprised, some happy, and that was that they were cutting the self-isolation period from 10 days to five days. Uh, kind of talk about what that really means, break it down in layman's terms. Yeah, great to be with you, Christine. You know, the CDC, you took the science and, and really what's happening is we know people are most contagious just before you get symptoms from the Omicron variant and a few days after. Now, there's been a lot of talk about people without symptoms, but in this case, we're talking about people who have symptoms and people who test positive. And so they have decided that if you stay isolated for five days from your onset of symptoms or from your positive test, you can be around people with a mask that you have to wear for five days longer, so a total of 10 days of masking, but that seems to be safe because the risk of infecting people goes down after that five days. It's not zero, but it's much, much less. And why that's important to do, why get people back out in the real world is, we've all been out and about and we're seeing what a strain this whole pandemic has put on our workforce, be it yes. in doctor's offices, be it in restaurants. So getting people back to work is important, but also doing it safely. So after five days, you can be out amongst people if your symptoms have gone, or if you never had symptoms, as long as you're wearing a good mask, which would be a two-ply cloth mask or the KN95 and 95. And let's talk about testing negative before being around others again, because I have a neighbor who was a physician at a local hospital, and she said because there may be fragments of uh, COVID-19 that they, this particular hospital she works at doesn't even retest again for 90 days. So I'm so confused. Should we retest? Should we not retest? So the CDC amended their guidelines to say you could retest if you want to before you go out in public. And, you know, again, here we have to be practical. If anyone's tried to find a test, it's virtually impossible. Exactly. So if you can find one and you feel compelled to do it, or perhaps if you're going to be around people that you're very concerned about, elderly parents or grandparents, somebody who's undergoing chemotherapy, then maybe waiting longer or doing that test makes sense. And as your neighbor said, it's absolutely true. Even though you feel fine and aren't contagious to other people, some of the tests can pick up fragments of virus. So that is why retesting negative has been a bit controversial. But in our current setup, it is not required to retest and have a negative test before you release yourself from your isolation period. Again, if you stay away from people for five days, from your positive or five days from symptoms, you can get around people with a good mask on and that mask needs to stay on around everybody for five more days. More Testing days. is not required.